Welcome to Irons United for another rhubarb grumble with me, Alf Gasparo. So, the botrytis and detritus has really set in around West Ham, hasn't it? At the game on Saturday, it just reached fever pitch. We had fans running onto the pitch, fighting each other, protesting at the feet of the self imposed emperors, and the team just I don't know, they just gave up in the second half, didn't they? But was anybody really surprised? Given what's been going on for the last couple of weeks, there was a lot of pent-up energy, a lot of dissatisfaction, totally disenfranchised fans, uh, disillusioned. But really, this has been going on for a couple of years, hasn't it, since the, the stadium move. You know, a couple of players out there were showing... Uh, a little bit of vim and vigour, but the rest are just relying on their kind of dwindling talents, I suppose. And um, as opposed to fighting with any real desire, you know, passion, purpose, determination. You know, no matter how much they say they're trying, the players, that is, uh, it's not being shown enough. It's not obvious enough. And it hasn't been like that, not just in the match on Saturday. This is, you know, for the last two seasons. You know, fans shouldn't be running onto the pitch. You know, you can't condone that. But you've got to ask yourself, what has driven them to do it? What's going on behind the scenes that has, has caused this? Well, it's, you know, it's the ownership, it's the board, it's the, the failure to invest, to um, to invest in the transfer windows, um, to reinforce, reinforce the squad, to support the, the, um, the managers. That relates to on the field. Off the field, it's everything to do with the, the stadium, the way they've acted, the way they've, you know, manipulated and changed things. You know, it's, that's the reason why. That's the reason why people are driven to do things that they do. You know, um, yes, fans running onto the pitch. They shouldn't have been allowed to run on the pitch, of course. But where are the stewards? You know, if the stewards weren't sleeping or just too busy on their phones taking selfies, then maybe they'd have a chance to actually stop these people from getting on the pitch. But they didn't, you know. So now they're having emergency meetings of the club. Oh, yeah, well, but, but this has been going on for a couple of years, though, but the problems with the stewarding. You know, fans have been telling this for, you know, time and time again, but nothing's been done. Now you get a few hundred fans at, the, you know, at your feet, you know, hurling abuse at you and pointing the finger at you. Then you decide, OK, maybe it's about time we address the, the stewarding issue. Woeful. Woeful. You know, fans got onto the pitch, Noble got in on the action, wrestled one of them to the ground, but really he shouldn't have been getting involved in any of that, you know. Um, and he shouldn't have let his frustration boil over as well. You know, there's a lot of pointing at the fans now, saying the fans shouldn't be doing this. But actually, you know, Noble reacted with similar kind of frustration. He's frustrated with the fans, you know, for not showing their support. Actually, they have been showing their support. It's just you and the, the rest of the team have not been showing it back for a couple of seasons. Not for mostly, anyway. You know, I suppose, I suppose Noble was so frustrated as well. You know, having somebody come on the pitch and no, nothing was being done about it. You know, so, and he's wondering where are the stewards. You know, the stewards should be dealing with this. You know, he's waiting for the stewards. But oh no, again, where are the stewards? Still going on, still races on. And he's going to have to be lucky now because the FA obviously looking at, at West Ham for the pitch invasions and for the, you know, the, um, the protestations that, you know, at the board. They're looking at whether to play the remaining home fixtures behind closed doors. Um, where, who knows whether Noble will face some kind of ban. Who knows? But no idea. You know, um, but, you know, essentially he attacked... A, a, a fan that was running onto the pitch. Whether you agree or not agree, it's kind of irrelevant. The fact is, now he can protest all he wants and say, you know, I was, I was in fear of my life, Your Honour. You know, it doesn't wash, really, because the fan actually wasn't running towards him. Actually, Noble made it, reacted and ran towards the fan and wrestled him to the ground. He's got to be very careful here. 
you know, that's all I'm saying. Where does it go from here? I mean, all we can do as fans is just band together, get behind the team and hope that Moyes can pull his finger out and, you know, set up the team properly. You know, react quicker with subs. And, you know, and get the players to put in a shift. I and mean, that's what we really want, you know, to, you know, for them to, you know, bleed and, and not bleed literally, but bleed, you know, for the cause, you know, fight for it, you know, make us all proud. And that's what fans really want to do, you know, really want to see. There's been so much pointing elsewhere um, when really the managers and, and the players uh, need to dig themselves out of this gaping hole. Yes, a lot of the, we should all be pointing at the board and all should be pointing at the, uh, what's going on behind the scenes. But actually, in terms of, you know, team performances, you know, they've got to sort this out themselves. You know, the, the second half against Burnley was just a, an, an indictment of the last two years that, you know, that we've had. Two years, two years of this. You know, just capitulation, just um, dross, really. Just dross. You know, and then you, you, you're blaming the fans after, you know, the fans coming on, on, on the pitch. Well, actually, you'd already conceded a goal. Your heads went down, and that's it. You just weren't alive. Moyes wasn't to react. Dyche had already reacted brilliantly with, uh, you know, with his subs. And they, they just ran right through us. They're not a world-beating team. This Burnley, for Christ's sake. Burnley. You know, but they're high flyers. They're playing as a team, they're playing as a unit, and they're playing for their manager and their fans. Swap the difference. Yeah, that's right. The players just need to get off their asses. That's as simple as that. You know, yes, they're affected by fans' dissension. Yes, they're affected affected by it. But also, they're affected when when we cheer. But it's a it's a two way street. You know, it's a symbiotic relationship. We cheer you as fans. The thousands around there, they cheer you. You feed off it, but you've got to give us something to cheer about as well. It's just, you know, it's it's a two way street. You can't be pointing the finger at fans when they're also protesting against the board and the owners and the reason why we've uprooted from our home to the London Stadium. You can't be doing it. You've got to give the fans something to cheer about. And yes, you know, if the performance has been better for the last two years, it certainly wouldn't be nowhere near as bad as it is now. Okay, the, the the fans will be protesting against the board for off the field issues and not on the field issues, and that's why it's spilled over. You know, it's 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 not just one element is to blame here. Fans have their role to play, of course. The board definitely, and the team, the manager, the team. There are too many players within that team who are just not fighting enough. They're strolling around, and I'm not going to name names, but I think you know the ones I'm on about. You know strolling around, haven't got the fight, you know, and at the end of the season, whether we survive or not, this would be a big a, a big ask. It would be a big ask to keep any of these those players and whether you really want to keep them anyway, who knows? Oh, I don't know. You know, I, I think we're gonna I think we're gonna go down. I think so. And I thought this about six, seven weeks ago, actually. But I think really now we are going to go down because I can't see where you know the performance is going to improve to a degree. And we've got such a horrible run in as well. So there's going to be a massive clear out in the summer. You know, and a lot of those players, good riddance, get rid of you. You know, if, you, if you're not willing to put in a, even a half a shift, you know, for... And I'm not talking about just playing. I'm talking about committed, you know, backs against the wall stuff, you know, hustling, harrying, you know, just, just getting in there. We don't see it. We don't see it. And that's why fans are, you know, un unhappy. So don't point at the fans when you look at yourself. Look within yourselves and the manager. See how you're setting up the team. See how you're putting the best players in their best positions. Look at changing the, the formation, the tactics. You know, you've got to do something. Time's run out. You've got to do it. Anyway, I don't know. You know, look. Do you agree? I don't. I don't know if I agree. I have no idea. Just, just like every other fan out there, totally demoralised, totally felt let down. Um, not only by the team, um, but I support the team and always urge them to want to do well. Just feel so let down by the club, the owners of the club, and what is you know what have you done to our club? What have you done to our club? Look at it. Look, look, look. You've got fans fighting fans. That says it all. That just says it all, doesn't it? You know, 
you got people, you know, you know, jumping over the the barriers, you know, to get a corner flag to emulate, you know, um, protestations from from years back. You know, it's not about fans just running on the pitch who willingly. This is about fans protesting about injustice, about you know, people that people and the media just haven't listened to. And players, you've got to understand that. And that's you know that's why you've got to put on a performance, but you've got to acknowledge what's going behind the scenes. A lot of this stuff is not directed at you, but we want you to put in a good performance. Simple as that. Try, try, and try bloody harder. Anyway, leave a comment, uh, comments below. Subscribe to Irons United because they're really cool. And uh, uh, follow me on Twitter if you really want to. Alcasbara at twitterville.twitter.co.uk, whatever. All right, catch you next time. Cheers.